Hi everyone, I'm Maker Schoolhouse and today we're going to use this to make some of these. Have you ever opened up a board game at home and there's no dice, like someone took the dice out? Well, if you have a micro bin, we can fix that. And remember we're on makecode.org and we're going to use the on shake block which looks like this so the micro bit's really cool because it has something called an accelerometer um, and so basically what that is is just a sensor inside the micro bit that allows it to know its its place in space and so when you shake it it actually uses that as an input so we're going to use the on shake as an input and we're going to say on shake um, we want it to show a number right because the faces of a die are basically six numbers right one through six so we want it to show a number so if you go under basic there's the show number block and we're just going to click it right there um, now we don't want it just to show the number zero we can um, shake so on your simulator over here you have a shake um, simulation and it'll show the number zero but we don't want it to show the number zero we want it to show a number one through six and we want it to be random so in the math menu you're going to use the pick random oval so we're going to pick a random number and the um, a die has six sides so we're going to say one through six but you know if you're doing like dungeons and dragons or something else that had a multi-sided die you could just put whatever number you wanted to and so then on shake it's going to give you a little number Ta -da! awesome to make it a little bit more exciting though um, because it's just like really instantaneous and when you're actually rolling the die you know it can be kind of like it can tumble a little bit before it actually shows its number so we want to actually um, before we show a number let's go ahead and put a little mini animation by using um, the show LED um, blocks so we're gonna put three of these show LED blocks I'm just gonna make it look like it's tumbling so I'm just gonna pick some random um, some random little digits or pixels and so it'll look like it's randomly kind of thinking about uh, what number it wants to input before it actually shows um, my number so it would look like this if I do on shake it's gonna go bump, 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 and then the number two, three, five. And there you have it, you guys, a digital die. But let's go ahead and download it onto our micro bit to see what it looks like in the real world. So we're just going to plug it into our USB port on our computer and we will press download. Now it's downloaded and we can shake it and it makes a little animation. And what number is that? Yay, now I have a digital dice. Now let's say instead of showing a number, we wanted to actually make it look like the side of a dice. So we'll use our LED screen to like actually make it just have little dots. Okay, um, so let's first just go ahead and make our die. So the number one would look like that. I'm just gonna put them over here in my workspace. Um, the number two would look like that. And what are all these together? right there okay and the number three what does three look like like that four looks like that and five looks like that and six looks like now that you've made the faces of your die, we have to make something called a variable. So in coding, a variable just represents something. And in this case, your variable is going to represent one of six sides of the die. So if we go under variables, we're gonna, there shouldn't be anything there. We're going to create a variable. And we're gonna just name the, um, we'll just name it dice face. You can name it whatever you want. And then once you click OK, you'll see that a couple of blocks appear. So you have an oval here and then set dice face and chase dice face by one. OK, we're going to use the first one. So we're going to say on shake, we're going to set the dice face and we're going to say we're going to set the dice face to a random number. So again, the random number is over here under the math section. And we're going to say pick random number one through six because again, there are six sides to the die. 
Now we're going to use our conditional loop. So our conditional loops basically say if this is the condition is true, then do this. So it's like a lot of if thens. So um, in our logic, we're going to use the first conditional loop, which says if true, then. Okay. Now we're going to make a true or false statement, or we're actually going to make it equality. So we're going to say if the random number that the micro bit has chosen um, is one, then we're going to set it to show the LEDs number one um, face. So under logic again, you're going to go down to the comparison and you see this diamond shape where it says zero equals zero. We're going to bring that out and we're going to click it into the true. So be sure it sticks into the true like that. And then we're going to say, we want to say if the dice face equals one. So because remember, it's going to choose a random number one through six. And so we're going to say under variables, this is dice face because that's the variable we made. So we're going to say if the dice face, and again, make sure it sticks there. If the dice face is equal to one, then we want to show the LED um, face that looks like that. So we're going to say when we shake it, um, we're going to set the dice face. We're not telling you to show anything. We're just setting to set it one through six. And then we're going to say if the dice face is equal to one, then show the LED that. Okay, and we're gonna do that six times. So again, we'll put this under, make sure it's not in it, but it's under it like that. And again, we're gonna go under logic and we're gonna say, um, if the dice face is equal to two, because remember it's gonna choose a number, one through two, I'm running one through six, we're gonna show the LEDs. Um, we want those to become unstuck. Show them the face that looks like two. All right, so now we have to do that four more times. So now we assigned if the dice face equals six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, and so I guess I didn't need to make all of these. We'll just toss these away. Now, if you want it to show the animation again, because you like the way that looked, it gives you like a little bit of an anticipation, then you can just drag your little animations and you can either put this before or after it picks the random number, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then it looks like this. If I press on shake, it's going to show my animation and then the number one. On shake, show my animation, the number six. On shake, show my animation, the number five. Ta-da! Now you have it look like an actual dice face. So let's go ahead and press download. Yeah, it works. So check it out. Shake, animate, three. Shake, animate, six. So yeah, now you have a digital dice. No need for these anymore when you got digital dice. All right, you can always connect that to a battery pack and then you can like take it, you can take it on the road, you can take it camping, whatever you want. Anyway, that's the micro bit lesson for today. We learned um, how to use the logic loops, how to find the random number, uh, and how to make a variable. So we learned a lot today. So I hope you come back. Thanks a lot. I'm Maker Schoolhouse and please subscribe below. See you next time. Bye.